Hey, Charles, we talked to you yesterday. You said that you guys had a plan for Sheboy. You couldn't tell us what that was. Now that you've effectively um, done a pretty good job on him today, can you talk to me about what the game plan was going in to f try to stop him? Uh, really, the game plan for him was just really it's going to be all five guys. It's not just me. It's not just someone else. It's going to take five guys to stop him, and I think we did a great job of that today. Brandon, can you talk about Charles being humble, but a, a pretty great performance by him on one of the best players in college basketball. W what does that mean, and what confidence does it give you guys to show that he can do that? Um, I mean, he's Charles Bediaka. I mean, I feel like he can guard any center in the country. I mean, with us, with the whole team just guarding him, really. It's just not just Charles. It's not just me. It's not just Mark. I think it's uh, a team effort, really, you know, just to come out and get a win like that. For Charles and Brandon, the, the bigs get a lot of credit for how they handled Sheboy, but Mark had a strip. He, he was able to chase down some of those long rebounds. How, how key was he, too, in being pesky and kind of helping in the effort? It was very key. It was one of the best defensive performances I've ever seen from him. And, you know, he did a really good job today. Uh, so, yeah, we happy for him. We just got to continue on it. It's definitely one of his uh, best defensive performances. Uh, I feel like he's even better than what he did tonight. Um, and I feel like it's just up from here on now. Uh, first for Brandon, uh, I know you got off to a little bit of a slow start offensively. How did you get into the flow? And then for Mark, you got the hard hat award. But how, what, how, what's been the key for you to fit in with this group so quickly and look so comfortable on the floor? Um, well, I know I always got guys behind me, you know, that can um, boost my confidence, like Mark Sears and uh, Charles Bediaco. It's not just them two. I mean, it's the whole team, really, coaching staff to players. So. Um, I think they really just talked to me and got in my head and just built the confidence that I needed to um, go out there and get a win. Yeah, uh, Coach Calipari said that you guys rattled them. Uh, what do you think was key to doing that in this game? Um, I feel like our crowd, our, our fan uh, kind of rattled them. I think they came out with a lot of high energy from the jump. And uh, I think with us playing hard, rattled them too. I mean, you got Charles Garden, you know, one of the best centers in the nation. So, I mean, he did the thing, the best thing he could do all night. Mark, and all you guys, the, the second half run, it seemed like you guys were just building momentum, building momentum. What were, you know, what was the key to getting that, that run started? Uh, defense, really, and keeping uh, Toshiba from getting second chance points. And we did that, and we kept our foots on the pedal. And then that's, that's really what did it. Brandon, there were, there were about 20 NBA clubs here today. Obviously, the, the house was packed. It's Kentucky. I mean, did you, did you feel like there were more eyes on, on you in this game than, than the average game? Um, I feel like it's a, you know, a team effort, like I said. Um, I mean, Kentucky is always going to be a great program. Um, I think it's just good just to get a win like that here at home. And just real quick for Mark again, just talk about how you fit in so quickly. You fit, it just seemed like seamless since the start of the season. Talk about how quickly you fit in with this group. Uh, it's a great, group, a great group of guys. You know, uh, it shows on the court. We're all very unselfish, and we're, it's easy to play with this group. Yeah, they kind of threw some punches at you guys early, but you eventually kind of overpowered them down the stretch. Do you guys feel like a win like this is a big statement for you moving forward in SEC play? Um, I feel like all our wins um, for Harold now is a big step to, you know, SEC. I, I mean, it's just not just being Kentucky. It's who we play next. I mean, Kentucky's always going to be a good program, like I said. And it's always a good win to, you know, beat them at home.